What's up, family? Welcome to another session with Harry O over the top. Listen, guys, first thing I want you to do is like the video, share the video. I want you to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Guys, I am Harry O over the top. I am your life coach. That I am the life coach that came to help you or give you tools to get out of this incredible craziness that you have been dealing with to bring you some understanding to exactly what it is you're dealing with and why. Today, I am making this video and in this video, what I'm gonna to describe to you is, I wanna break down how or why it is that you know, you absolutely know for sure that the narcissist knows what they're doing and if they were actually sorry for what they're doing to you, then it wouldn't keep happening repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. Guys, one thing about a narcissist is that they are going to show you things. The favorite tactic of confusion is to show you one thing, but to tell you something different that is contrary to what they're showing you. When you initially meet the narcissist, of course, they, what they say and what they do matches up, but only for a short time. Okay? And that's only sometimes. It doesn't always match up. So I don't want to give you the impression that, okay, well, this can't be a narcissist because, you know, they never matched up with what they said and, and what, it, what they showed me. No, that's only some, in some cases. Okay? Only in some cases. Guys, well, particular, the, the one thing that I really want to expound upon today is I want you guys to have the understanding that the narc knows that they're abusing you. The narcissist knows who you are. The narcissist knows who they are. And they know that you don't know who you are. And they know that you don't know who they are. Wow, isn't that an advantage? Isn't that an advantage? Well, how do you know that they know, right? That's the first question y'all was thinking. <laughs> It's all good though. You know, I love it. I love to explain it. You know, one of the reasons that you can tell that the narcissist actually knows, they actually know who they are and they know who you are. One of the ways that you will know that is because a narcissist has no interest in being with someone who has boundaries, someone who is going to stick to their purpose. And if you're that kind of person that, no, I'm a no nonsense person and you know I'm not gonna get caught up emotionally just because the person may look good, you know, and that's not to say that all of them look good, but it is to say that sometimes we do allow a person's looks to totally dictate you know, what they're going to, how they're going to be able to walk all over us strictly based on what they look like. Okay. Now it doesn't even matter what you present, what you have, what you look like, how you speak, the influence that you may have has zero to do with it. If you are a no nonsense person, which is a person with boundaries that you will uphold and you will not allow others to break your boundaries or cross your boundaries, then a narcissist has absolutely nothing that they can do with you, okay? They have nothing they can do with you. They're going to try you. And when they see, ah, oh, no, nah, this isn't, you know, this is gonna to be too difficult. I'm not even gonna try it because the, I can see there's no manipulation. When you hold them to the fire on everything from the very beginning, they have no interest in that kind of person. Now, when you think back to when you met the narcissist, were you that person? Of course, we'd all like to think that we were that person. 
Fact of the matter is, is that we were not. We were not that person. As a matter of fact, we were the opposite of that person because we wanted to make a good impression and we wanted things to go well with this new person. Okay. The downside of that is that that's what attracted the narcissist to you. They saw that you were easy to get along with. You were someone that will fix everything that they break. Every time they break it, you'll fix it. Every time they disrespect it, you'll respect it. Every time they do something or anything that is bad, you come back with something that is good. You overlook. So that is the reason that the narcissist is attracted to you. That's why they were attracted to you in the first place. And when you stop being that, they are no longer attracted to you. Okay? They're no longer attracted to you. The narcissist is attracted to breaking people. They love it. They love to show that, oh yeah, people thought that you were this great, incredible person, but I was able to get inside you and conquer you and break you down to zero. And you had a reputation for being an upstanding person. That's who the narcissist really wants to break down. That person that has always been very, 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 well, I want to use the term strong, but there's another term that I should use. I would say if you've always had a rep an upstanding reputation, they want to be the one that knocks that reputation down. They want to be the one that shows that you're not what everybody thinks that you are. Yes, because they secretly want to be you. The, nar the narcissist is a competition. That's your major competitor. That's your first competitor. That narcissist that and you guys who live with them, married to them, that is your biggest adversary. That is your biggest foe. That person is jealous of you on every level. That person is your major, that is your biggest competitor. And you don't even have a clue of it. You don't even have a clue. But they're going to continue to take you through cycles of abuse. We know how the cycle of abuse, of abuse starts. You know, it goes from the love bomb, which is way up, and it quickly turns into a devalue situation. Now, one of the reasons that we put up with so much of it is because when you're dealing with a narcissist, they show you at the very beginning, you know, they mirrored you. So they're showing you yourself. You see potential. You see what you've always be look, been looking for, which is someone who's just like you. And that's why they mirror you. They know that's your attraction and you believe, you start to believe that this is everything I've ever wanted. This is the person I've been looking for. This is the answer to my prayers. That's what you start to believe. Now that doesn't last for a long time because it quickly becomes the opposite of that. And you are always trying to regain that connection. And guys, from time to time, you will see, it doesn't just stay bad. You know, that's not how narcissism works. It's not just somebody just turn into a snake and they just stay there. I mean, even after the snake bites you, it, it, it calms down. You know, it goes right back to being chill again. And then as soon as you're playing with the snake and everything, you're having all this fun, it attacks you. And you're like, why the world the snake just bit me? I thought we were friends. Snake is looking at you saying, hey, look, man, I'm a snake. <laughs> what part do you not understand? That's what snakes do. Bite. So the narcissist is not always going to be just, you know, 24-7 abuse, abuse, abuse. Not all the time. They're going to let up because they know if they don't let up, you're going to leave. You have no incentive to stay. They have to continue to give you incentives to stay. Now, it will go bad and stay bad once the discard starts, once they have found another supply that they feel strong enough and more enough confidence in that this person is not going to leave them. The person has shown that they can take the abuse. The narcissist is in paradise again. They are, you know, ready to discard you. But they're not going to discard you forever. It's just a temporary thing, you know, just until they destroy this new situation or the person. Whichever comes first. 
Okay, so, you know, but I want to get back to the original focus in this video. And the original focus is when you're dealing with a narcissist, guys, they are going to always abuse, 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 and they're going to stay consistent with it. And that is one of the ways that you know that it, what they do, it is not by mistake. They're not accidentally cheating on you continuously. They're not accidentally lying to you about everything. They know what they're doing and they lie to you about everything. The reason is, is that they must show that they have no emotion connected to telling the truth nor a lie or a lie. They must show you that they have no, no commitment in either side. So you never know if they're telling you the truth or not. That's how a narcissist wants you to be. They want you on the fence about everything. And the purpose of that is so that you will always second guess everything that they say. You must second guess everything that they say. And the reason for that is if you're second guessing it, that means that you will not stand strong on anything. It means that they can tell you that your name, let's say your name is Bob or your name is Betty. And one day, instead of calling you Bob, she may call you Bill. And then say, and then you say, why did you call me Bill? Who's Bill? And then she'll say, I didn't call you Bill. I called you Bob. And for that split second, you question yourself like, am I hearing things? And that, my friends, that's the seed of doubt that they plant in you. That's what the intent is. It's simply to make you second guess. Second guess your reality. Second guess your truth. If they can second make you second guess the, the, your reality, then you will always give them another chance. You will always give them the benefit of doubt. My friends, that's what they live for. To keep you from walking on solid ground. That is life to a narcissist. You're up against the creator of lies, of deception. They only live in deception. They will not, they will not stand, nor will they walk in truth ever. They know that they're abusing you. People don't make the same mistake time and time and time again. There's no reason for that. Think about it. Good people have never done you that way. Why is the narcissist always doing that to you? And then after they continually do it to you, they become the victim. Yeah, you might have caught them cheating, but they cheated on you because you were neglecting them and you didn't have time for them and you. Hey guys, listen, that's my video. That's my video for you guys today. I want you to leave it in the comments what your experience was. Again, like, share, subscribe to the video. Guys, I have a Facebook group. It's called Narcissist Anonymous 101, the Empath Tribe. Definitely want to get in there if you can. Also, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching for you guys who have gotten out of this and you're trying or trying to get out of this, trying to make and sort this out and make sense of the craziness. I absolutely would love to help you out. Just send me a message on Messenger, on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, and I'll send you a copy of my calendar, all right? Hey guys, put it in the comments, thanks.